Hey guys, it's Jack and I'm back with the video today. If you're asking that tough in the title of the video, I'm here with my vacation shopping haul. So with that being said, cue to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So in today's video, you guys will be seeing what I have purchased on my vacation. Because if you guys did not know, this past Thanksgiving break, I went on a family vacation on a cruise going to Jamaica, Haiti, and the Bahamas. You guys should look forward for a vlog coming out soon. I don't know when that will be coming out, but it will definitely be coming out soon. And with that being said, me and my family decided to go on this vacation because my dad's birthday was November 17th. And Thanksgiving was like the week after. So we were just like, fuck it. Let's go on the family vacation with me, my mom, my dad, my sister, and the, all the cousins and aunts on my dad's side. So that being said, we all had a great time. And with that being said, we went to Miami three days earlier. So with that being said, there was a lot of shopping that happened. And also on the cruise, we had some shopping. And also in the islands in Jamaica, Haiti, and the Bahamas, there was some shopping. So with that being said, this is going to be the shopping haul for my vacation. All right, and so everything in this bag, and including the bag, are stuff that I bought in Miami or in the islands that I mentioned earlier. So with that being said, we're just gonna start off with things and just pull things out and just go from there. All right, so the first item I bought was a water bottle from Royal Caribbean, you know what I'm saying? That's the cruise line we took. Y'all should sponsor me, I'm not for the cap. But Royal Caribbean, y'all should sponsor me, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, uh, eat. You know what I'm saying? Eat. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, let me get a free cruise ride, though. Dead ass. But, you know what I'm gonna say? I got this bottle because I left my hydro flask in my room, and I was thirsty on the boat or the cruise, and I needed this to stay hydrated, so, yeah, this was definitely key. If you guys go on the cruise, definitely don't forget the bottle, because I'm telling you, you will be thirsty, if you know what I mean. The next thing I bought is going to be this bag. Uh, like I said, we had to buy another bag just because we had bought so many things. We needed another thing to take things back home. So this is what that bag is. It's just a Nike bag. It's a little beat up, as you can tell from the back. But you know, it's because this went to international waters. And yeah, this bag got beat up. But moving on to the stuff that we bought from the islands. The first thing I got, this is from Haiti. It's actually on my wrist. So I got this little bracelet from Haiti. So this is the first item. As you can see, the Haiti is kind of fading, but the good thing is that good thing I got this for free because if I paid money for my like the the Sharpie writing of Haiti to fade, I'd be a little mad. But yeah, I got this for free because you know, once you guys go to them islands, they are really 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 good uh bargainers or like they really are good at convincing you to buy stuff. So like he was like, "Come to my shop. Where are you guys from?" I think we were like, me and my sister were like from Georgia. And he was like, oh, I've been to Georgia. I love Georgia. And then he was like, oh, since you guys are from Georgia, take this bracelet, my friend. And he was like, it's for free, uh, no charge. And my sister wasn't taking it. He said it three times. He was like, I don't need no money. I just need friendship. And after like the fourth time of him saying it, I said, fuck it. I'll take it. I put my wrist out. He put it on. And he gave my sister another one too. So we got two bracelets for free. And the price that we had to pay was friendship. So shout out to him. And yeah, so this is the first thing I got from the first island. Because actually we went to the Bahamas first. We went to the Bahamas. Haiti and then Jamaica and the Bahamas I wasn't able to get anything just because of the time management and it started raining and it was just overall eh, you know what I mean I really wanted a sweatshirt from the Bahamas but hopefully next time I go I can get it but yeah I wasn't able to get anything from the Bahamas but yeah I got one thing from Haiti and I got one thing from Jamaica so let me show you guys what I got from Jamaica so from Jamaica I was able to get this t-shirt from Jamaica it's a cool brown t-shirt it just says Jamaica no problem you know what I mean? It's a cool, clean shirt, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really like this shirt, you know. Um, it's a V-neck, I don't know. It was the coolest shirt I could find. My goal was to, like, find the coolest shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, or whatever that I could find. And this is probably the, my favorite one that I found. Also, I forgot we got some um, water shoes from Jamaica as well. Because if y'all haven't seen the clip yet, let me put it in real quick. Let's go out this point. Yeah! Oh, snap! I was just down there. Now I'm up here. Hey. I got like a slide. Ooh. I just fell. Hey man, I almost just died. I caught that shit on camera though.
Yeah, that's me busting my ass in a river. But I was wearing these water shoes. I didn't slip. I did not slip. So these shoes work. I just misplaced and I busted my ass. But a quick story. So my sister also had a pair of these. And my sister wears the same size as my friend Maya. So I told my sister, because she didn't want the shoes no more. I said, I'll take them because Maya would want them. You know why I said that? Because I swore Maya told me that she doesn't like her feet in the sand. So I thought she would like these Jamaica shoes. But no, but I gave these to Maya. She was so fucking ungrateful, saying, oh, I never said that, this, that, and that. So this is a point proven to y'all. Don't do anything good for your friends. So that technically counts as like a souvenir from Jamaica. So yeah, basically all the stuff that I got is just like a clothing haul or like a souvenir haul from my vacation. So if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing my little tent hat, it's because you guys are watching Wong List. So basically what that means is I'll be uploading a video from November 30th to December 31st and you guys get a video from me every day. You get to see my cute face every day. So you guys should stay tuned and help me grow. So let's go back to the video. I kind of just separated from the stuff that we bought before the cruise and then after the cruise. So the rest of the stuff that I bought is before the cruise. So let me go to the bag. Oh wait, there's a fucking Fanta right here. Let's go, I was thirsty. Ah, y'all should sponsor me. But moving on to the stuff that I bought before the cruise. So we bought this shirt at Guess. So the only reason my mom bought this shirt was because we needed a bag and she loves shopping. Because if you buy an item from Guess, you get like a little bag that you could reuse. So my mom knew about that. She, so she was like, let's go to Guess and buy this. So we got this shirt for like $15. And it's a pretty nice shirt. So I was like, fuck it, I'll take it. And my mom got the bag and I got this shirt. So I said, I'm not complaining. So yeah, it's a nice shirt. The next thing I got are going to be these shorts that I got from Nike. Some red shorts, you know what I'm saying? These can be swim shorts, basketball shorts, or stuff like that. We got these shorts, and then we got yellow shorts. So, you know, these are kind of cool, you know what I mean? You know, swim shorts, workout shorts, you know what I'm saying? I got more shorts. And I just realized these shorts just match my hat. So if this video gets 100 likes before the end of Wongmas, December 31st, on that last day of Wongmas, I will wear this and just this hat, and I'll be shirtless or whatever, and I'll jump into a freezing cold pool. So if this video gets 100 likes, I'll do that, so. The door just opened, bro, what the fuck? Man, I got a ghost in here, bro, what the fuck? But as I was saying, if this video gets 100 likes, I will jump into a pool with just these pants and this hat on in the freezing cold. All right, moving on to a shirt as I got for a gift. I got this for a gift for someone that I'm not gonna name because they might be watching the video. And I'm not gonna show the front of the shirt, but all y'all get to see is just the back. Um, yeah, I got this shirt from a company called Cotton On. I had never heard of Cotton On, but when we went there that Saturday after Black Friday, they had hella deals and I was able to get a good deal on the cool shirt and hopefully they will like it. But yeah, that's I can't show you much because you know, that's a Christmas gift. And yeah, you know, Cotton Non, y'all should sponsor me too. And moving on to another t-shirt I got from Cotton Non. It says hidden visual. Come on, zoom in to see that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, it's very, like, it's, it's kind of hidden. You know, it's a cool, clean shirt. It's definitely, it looks huge. It looks huge. Maybe I'm just kidding. But, you know, it's a cool graphic tee, you know, so I like the oversized fit, you know what I mean? Um, cool graphic tee. Like I said, Cotton Non was having a great deal. Everything in that store was very cheap after the Black Friday. So shout out to Cotton Non, y'all just fast to me. And also comment down below if you have ever heard of Cotton Non. I've never heard of that company until I went to Miami. But my cousin said that there was a whole bunch of Cotton Nons all over the world or whatever. But that was the first one I've seen. So let me know if y'all heard of a Cotton Non. But moving on to my last item from Cotton On is going to be this long sleeve shirt. You know, it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty clean. Nothing on the back, but I don't know what it says for, what does it even say? Souls, I can't read. So, <laughs> it looks cool though. So yeah, hopefully this fits. It is a medium, um, but yeah, hopefully this, this fits. If not, I'm gonna give this to someone. All right, moving on to my second to last item, because I saved the best item for last. So with that said, this was purchased at the airport right before my flight back to Atlanta. This was purchased at the Miami International Airport. And that is, I have fucking gummy worms. Oh, whoa. I got gummy worms. I forgot I purchased these too. <laughs> oh, but back to the Red Blue Schedule program, we got a hoodie 
from Miami. I wanted a Miami hoodie. And this was the coolest one I could find. It was the coolest looking one and the cheapest one I could find. Because the other one just had Miami. But this one had the sun and Miami. So yeah, this is a pretty cool hoodie. And last but not least, the best item that I got in Miami. Y'all might see it behind me, y'all might not. It is going to be my boy Matt Ryan. Just kidding. It is going to be the chocolate. Just kidding. It's going to be my football helmet. Just kidding. It is going to be this box right here. What could be in the box? It could be a pair of shoes. It could be a pair of underwear. It could be a pair of anything. Let me know down below in the comments what y'all think is in this box. Let's get a zoom up. Let's see. What does the box say? What does the box say? Can you, cameraman, can you read what the box says? Nike Dunk. A little retro. Do you think Nike Dunks are in here? Nah. Nah? Nah? Yeah, the box is kind of beat. Like, who's going to... Mm. I'm going to give y'all three more seconds to let me know down below. Three, two, one. Your boy got some fucking dunks, bro. Oh my god, bro. I finally got some dunks. Let me show you guys a picture of me when I got the dunks, like right here. Bro, when I got these dunks, I was so excited, bro. Like, when I went to Miami, Miami really got it off for real. Like, when we went to that Miami mall, they had dunks, they had Jordan 5s, they had PS 5s, they had anything you wanted, bro. And I was able to get my first pair of dunks. I've been wanting a pair of dunks for the longest. Um, I still want the dunks UNCs, but I'm still grateful for these because, like I said, I've been wanting dunks. The one thing that does suck is that a lot of people have the pandas, but I'm one of those people now, so I'm gonna cherish these. Like, like I love these, bro. And shout out to my sister, you know what I'm saying? She was the one who got them for me. And yeah, I got a pair of dunks now, and this was the best thing I got from Miami, from the islands. No offense to them shirts, because I'm sure it's are cool, but these dunks, bro, these like I could resell these for like $300, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I really love these shoes. Um, very clean pair of shoes. And I'm happy I have them. I can finally say I'm a proud owner of Dunks. And yeah, before we finish this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick story time on why the box is so deep. So in my suitcase, I put my pair of Dunks next to my sister's pair of Dunks in the box, hoping that the clothes and stuff like that will protect the boxes. But no, I'm not going to lie. The, it, it, it fucked up the box because we had a lot of stuff to bring back. And I guess just everything got smushed and condensed. But at the end of the day, Fuck the box, I got the dunks, the shoes are in good condition, like both pairs are in good condition, the box maybe, the box is fucked, but I got me a pair of dunks at the end of the day, and I'm gonna cherish them, and I'm, I'm gonna give them like a case, I don't know, I love these shoes, clean, I love these shoes, I know these are overhyped, everyone has them now, but I still love them, and like I said, I got a pair now, so I can talk my shit. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul, this video was not made to brag or anything, this is to show you guys what I got from my vacation, cause I don't know, when you guys go on vacation, sometimes I spend a little money on everything. Um, but yeah, we spent money on clothes. And hopefully the next time I go on vacation, I can get more things. And just hopefully I can go on another vacation soon. I'm not going to lie. I'm, your boy could use another vacation. I'm not going to lie. Even though I just got back. Man, that cruise life was amazing. Just waking up, eating all you can eat, chilling in the sun. That was a life. I didn't go on another cruise with like the friends though next time. No offense to the family. I had a great time with the family. But I felt like I had to hold back just a little bit because, you know, like the parents were watching. But, you know. We'll see what happens next time. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And stay tuned for Wong Miss because you guys will be getting to see me every day. And yeah, with all that being said, I ain't got nothing left to say. Subscribe, show your boys out.